Hey guys, it's Carrie from Garden Rudiments. It's been a while since I made a video, but I wanted to come out and talk to you about some low light succulents and other plants that are great as house plants in low light conditions. So I recently visited my son and daughter-in-law. She has wonderful south facing windows in her home and she has a beautiful collection of house plants. And they look so good, so much better than mine. Now, I, as you know, I've taken all of my succulents out to to my greenhouse, that's where they are now. Some of them get a little bit too much light and I've been kind of moving them around trying to keep them from getting sunburn because uh, our temperatures are getting up in the 80s now, in the low 80s, but in here it could be up to 110 degrees. We are able to keep the temperature down into like 91, 92 range until we get our wet wall done, which is behind me here and we're not finished with that yet, so I'm struggling to keep the heat down. But anyway, the plants are actually doing really well. But I wanted to show you some examples of plants that will work great in a home. Say you have a south facing window would be best. You get that nice, good sunlight all day long. An east window would be the next. And of course our house faces east, but we have a back porch. And so that kind of blocks the direct sunlight from getting into my home. And then there's the west facing windows. I do have west facing windows and I have an area in my office that I would like to be able to put some of my succulents. So I'm going to show you some. If you'll come a little bit closer, I'll show you ones that will work well for that situation. I pulled out some plants here that I think will work great in low light conditions. These are zebra plants and you can see they have great color. This one got a little bit sunburn. This is what happens when they can get too much. This one is doing great. It's one of the newer ones that came in from Mountain Crest Garden, Gardens and I've had this one a while and I got this back in September but you can see two new babies, two new pups on it and it's doing really well. But these will do really great in low light situations. Another one that would do very well, and this is a newer one that I picked up at Home Depot. This is a variegated jade, and it also doesn't like to be in just very hot temperatures in direct sunlight. So this would be a great one to use um, in a low light situation. And then any type of jade plant would be very well. Now, I've got to look the name up for this. This was given to me by a friend and she has this all in her greenhouses. It will grow pretty much anywhere, but it is also a good low light um, house plant. And I will put uh, the name of this one in the description box and then at the bottom of the picture. Another one that would actually work really well is the split rock. Now, I want more of these. This little guy, he has split. I don't water him, but sometimes he actually gets some, some direct watering when if I have him on a bottom shelf and if some runs off in there. You want the split rock, you want the bottom leaves to dry up and you should have only like this set and one set here. This one's got an extra set and that's if you don't, if you give them water, you know, they're, they're going to use the water that you give them and not use up what is in the bottom leaves. So before it splits, it should actually have just one set of leaves. So this one has an extra set. So this one has an extra set of leaves that I want to go away as it uses up its water. But that is some great plants. And then another plant that people don't think about is the Christmas cactus. This one would do very well in low light conditions. And on any of these, because they're not in hot conditions and because they're not getting direct sunlight, they will not need as much water. So be very careful in watering and this one will do fine in low light conditions. And then one plant that will grow anywhere. It doesn't need direct sunlight on it. It needs a good shade. This is the airplane plant. These are wonderful to have in your home. They uh, help clean and purify the air. So this is one plant that every home should have. Uh, I just love it. I've got a lot of these and you can see this one is put on a baby. So um, I hope this has been a help for you. Take your succulents into the house. Be 
Be confident in using the low light succulents that, that will work in your home that you can find a place for them. There is no such thing as a no light succulent or a no light plant. All plants need sunlight of some sort. Maybe low light, maybe very bright light, but they need some light at some time. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll hit that subscribe and like button and I'll see you in the next video on Garden Rudiments. Thanks for watching.